Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the history of Santa Claus. Santa Claus is perhaps one of the best loved figures in American folklore. Each Christmas season, millions of children and some adults eagerly wait for his arrival. Yet despite his popularity, few of us know the true story behind the Santa Claus legend. The modern Santa has his origins in the fourth century with St. Nicholas of Myra, Turkey. According to tradition, St. Nicholas distributed gifts to the needy, and he became known as the protector of children and sailors. By the 16th century, the veneration of St. Nicholas had become very popular in Northern Europe, particularly in Germany and the Netherlands, where he was known as Sinterklaas. Traditionally, Sinterklaas brought sweets to the good children while punishing those who misbehaved. Meanwhile, in England, the St. Nicholas tradition was transformed into the figure of Father Christmas. A large, jovial fellow dressed in fur-lined robes, Father Christmas was said to represent the joy of, and good cheer of the season. The traditions of Sinterklaas and Father Christmas were carried to North America in the 17th century by the early Dutch and English settlers of New Amsterdam and New York. In 1809, American author Washington Irving included the story of Sinterklaas, now called Santa Claus, in his book, Knickerbocker's History of New York. One of Irving's friends, the biblical scholar and poet, Clement Clark Moore, would create the definitive American idea of Santa Claus in his 1823 poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, also known as The Night Before Christmas. In Moore's poem, St. Nicholas visits houses at night bearing gifts. He travels by sleigh, pulled by eight tiny reindeer, each of which has a name. Santa, a right jolly old elf, enters the house through the chimney and sets about filling the stockings hung by the chimney with care. Moore's poem, though first published anonymously, becomes an immediate sensation and is reprinted several times. A final Americanization of Santa Claus occurs in the 1860s and 70s when German-born New York artist Thomas Nast begins creating images based on Moore's poem. Nast's image would cement the vision of the red-suited, bearded gift giver that we recognize today. In 1866, Nast added another dimension to the Santa story by adding a workshop at the North Pole. Since the late 19th century, Santa Claus has become a central figure in the Christmas season. By the 1930s, he was famously hawking Coca-Cola and became a staple of American advertising. Today's Santa is a far cry from his old world origins, yet the spirit of Santa Claus still reflects the essence of the season. As Clement Moore's St. Nicholas says, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.